Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Cooking with Chris. Today we've got a super sweet treat for you. We're doing Portuguese custard tarts. I'm not going to attempt it in Portuguese, a bit too difficult for my skills, but believe me, these are amazing. I came across them because I watched Rick Stein on his television program where he does a weekend away. He went to Lisbon and he highlighted these custard tarts and people queue around the block for these. They absolutely love them. Anyway, I discovered them on the wonderful Thermomix machine. This is the machine, the Thermomix TM6, that's got over 40,000 recipes online. We discovered it on here, we cooked it, and they taste amazing. It's a super sweet treat that you'll love and you'll want to cook them over and over again. Very simple ingredients, very easy to put together. I'll just run through what we've got here. We've got sugar, egg yolks, lemon peel, a cinnamon stick, some flour, some double cream, and some beautiful Jersey milk. And that is all you need to start the whole process. So let's get cooking and we'll see how this turns out. Right, here we go with the cooking process in our Thermomix TM6. First of all, we have to weigh in 180 grams of sugar. Take the lid off and we will push the tear button to zero the machine. And in with that, we'll put our sugar. And we have the right amount of there. Then we push the next button and it's asking us for 50 grams of plain flour. There we are, that's the flour done. Next, it is going to ask us for 250 grams of double cream. Okay, so we're already almost there. Push the tear and it's zero. So give that a shake and pour in 250 grams. Lovely double cream. Here we go, almost there. 47, there we are. 261, that's good enough. Who doesn't like a bit of double cream? And Next, 250 grams of milk. This is rich Jersey milk, it's lovely. It's already zeroed, so here we go. 250 grams of dairy milk. Cool, that was almost right that time, 260. And the next one. Five egg yolks, already prepared. Pour those in. Free range organic egg yolks. Use the best you can afford, it makes the dish come out nice in the end. Next, insert the measuring cup, which is that, into the lid. Put that on the TM6. Push next, and we're going to go for 10 seconds, no temperature, and we'll go round to speed four. There we are. That's that part of the process done in the TM6. We'll push the next button. And what we do now is we put in the butterfly whisk which comes supplied with the machine. So we take the lid off, very simple. Put this into the top of the machine and it will click. One important thing with a butterfly whisk, it's marked on there, never use it above speed four because you will break it. And next, lemon peel, one strip. In goes our lemon peel. Next, one cinnamon stick. Doesn't have to be one of the great big long ones. Next, insert the cup into the top of the TM6. And we're now going to go for 15 minutes at 90 degrees. And that is just going to gently get this going. It's already marked, it goes to 1.5. And there we are. So we'll come back when that part is done. Right, we're just waiting for the machine to do a cool down. After it's been working that hard, it just needs a little bit of time for the temperature to come down. That's that part completed. That is stage 12. We push the next button and it's asking us to remove the butterfly whisk. Be careful because when you open this up, it's hot. So open it away from you. And pull out the whisk. Drain anything off like that. And you can see there the cinnamon stick is coming out of it. Well, we want that anyway. So that's good. And 
Next, preheat your oven. I've already done that, it's at 200 degrees Celsius. On a lightly floured surface, put some flour, plain flour. Don't put too much flour down because it can be the enemy of your puff pastry. So you just want to lightly dust it. And then get your pastry, roll it out. I will, in a future video, show you how to make puff pastry. The recipe is on the TM6, so we can do that very easy. So we'll roll out our pastry onto here. Remember, it's just light, like that. And then the next part that it will ask you to do is to cut out 12 discs. Get yourself a pastry cutter, approximately the size of the top of that for your muffin tin, and get that and just cut, cut. Right, okay, so we'll cut out the discs. And then the next stage, what I'll do is take this away and re-roll this part of the pastry so that I've got some more to put in there. Okay, so take one of our discs and we put it into there. Try to get it as even as you can. Push it down like that. And you want it so that it sits approximately near the top. Here we are, just get all these in. As neat as you can. It's the taste that counts with these. Right, we have now reached step 16 on our Thermomix TM6. And we've done this where we've cut out the discs, we've removed the lemon, and it's now asking us to pour this into the pastry tarts that we've created. Right. There's quite a lot of liquid in here, so we'll take that off and I'm going to pour that into a, a smaller bowl so it's just slightly easier for me to pour in. I'll take the rest of that out in the moment. And what we do is pour these so that they finish up just below the top. You don't want to completely fill it up otherwise it will spill over and you'll have a horrible mess in your tin. Okay, so what we do, complete the process by filling up these tarts a little bit more. A lovely custard going in and here we have a piece of cinnamon coming out. So we just remove that and carry on with the process until all the cases are filled. And I think by the look of it, it's been judged right and we will have enough. The smell of this custard is absolutely gorgeous. Just tasting the custard on its own before it even goes into the oven is great. And now we have to brush the edges of the casings with an egg yolk mixture. So just mix up a little bit of egg yolk, a little bit of milk and brush around the edges. You will get marks on your pastry tin after this has been in the oven, but it's unavoidable. This is just to give a bit of colour to the tops of the casings. All right, all done. Next stage, we'll put this into the oven. Here we go, preheated oven, 200 degrees Celsius, and we will bake these in the middle of the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Right, here we go. Here's the finished product, our lovely Portuguese custard tarts. 12 of them, and they are so nice. I'm really tempted to eat one now, but I know I'll make a mess, so I won't. But please bake these yourself. Buy the Thermomix TM6, you won't regret it, and you can cook some wonderful dishes. It's got over 40,000 online recipes on there, and all the recipes are world class. And that's the end of that. These will be gone quite quickly. So anyway, thank you again. Please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really does help. And once again, a big thanks to Jack, my son. He does everything. He does the photography. He does the edit. He does the production. Thanks, Jack. Couldn't do it without you. See you on the next video.